let's talk about narrow and wide transformations narrow and wide transformations i'll go with the uh, eight or four partitions let display data let's display this data with a globe so globe means partition wise You see this job, job to stages, four tasks, because four partitions are there, partition one, partition two, partition three, partition four. If you want to decrease number of partitions, we can use the two options, colleagues repartition. We have a two options. I'll give you both options, print. So one is a colleagues. Colleagues, I'll go with uh, uh, two. Same thing, I'll go with the repartition as well. I'm trying to decrease number of partitions four to two. So colleagues, first one is colleagues, second one is repartition. So partition one, partition two, it has worked well. Here also partition one, partition two, two partitions it is created. But which one is narrow, which one is a wide transformation means Colis is narrow transformation, repartition is wide transformation. Let me explain this. The colis is went for single stage, only one stage. So no shuffling, no shuffling means no shuffle write, shuffle read. But when it comes to repartition, repartition also two partitions only. But if you look at the data, it is went for shuffle write, shuffle read, two stages it's went, two stages. So if you go with a single stage, no shuffle write, no shuffle read, that is called narrow transformation. If you have a shuffle write, shuffle read, that is wide transformation. I'll show you that, okay? Now, then what will happen when you go with the colleagues? Nearby partitions, it will merge. These two partitions, these two partitions, it's merged. If you look at the output also, you see clearly. These two partitions, it merged. These two partitions, it is merged. Nearby partitions, it will merge nearby partitions it will match this two this two when you go with a repartition a repartition it will recreate a new partitions so first it will take four it will write in memory shuffle write then it will exchange the data it will create a new partitions two new partitions so when you go with the view if you look at the view you can see this you can find a stage one stage two shuffle write shuffle read this one First of four, it will write in in memory. Then it will read, read as a two. Shuffle write, shuffle read. Two stages, stage one, stage two. Clearly you can see this. Stage one, 17, number 17, 18. Here also you can see this, 17, 18. If you go with the police, police only single stage, 16 stage, and a two partitions, and no shuffle write, shuffle read. Let me explain with the more with the clarity. This one. So whenever you go with the colleagues two, nearby partitions it will merge. These two partitions it will merge. So RDDX, then RDDY. Because RDD is immutable, you can add update here. It will take input as RDDX, consider. Another RDD it will return, that RDD will have a partition 1, partition 2, but nearby partitions data, it will merge, you see this. Colleagues, it won't do any shuffling, Colleagues, it won't do any shuffling. Then when you go with the wide transformation, shuffling, so shuffling means, first RDDX, it will take data for partitions, it will write in in memory as it is. Then it will shuffle the data, shuffle the data. And even while writing also shuffling is required, shuffle can be done, shuffle can be done from this can be go here, this can be go here, but I'm not given that full diagram. But shuffle write, four partitions it will write in in memory, then shuffle read, then it will shuffle and it will give you two partitions. So RDDY, you will get a partition one, partition two. So this additional two steps are there, shuffle write, shuffle read. Your input RDD, output RDD. 
in between you can find the two stages stage one shuffle right stage two shuffle read when you go with uh, this one directly it will read data from source and then it will give you a output single stage operation here two stage operation here two stage operation shuffle right shuffle read so that steps you can find here if you go to the view you can find this any wide transformation if you verify you can find this if you find any shuffle right shuffle read that is wide transformation and it will go with the two stage operations so in this scenario repartition is wide transformation colis is single stage narrow transformation and if you are looking for reducing number of partitions instead of repartition use colis because colis won't work for increasing if you have a requirement of increasing then go for repartition i'll try to increase rdd works for both increasing and decreasing but data frame won't work but here we are using rdd default is uh, four i'll try to increase six so repartition is not increased to six partition one two three four only is there but repartition sorry colis is not increased only four is there it is not increased to six but repartition is increased one two three four five six if you look at the job this is narrow this is wide shuffle right shuffle read is there four input output six partitions but colis in rdd level it can increase or decrease the second argument is true shuffling is true now this is increased now both are increased both are you see this y transformations now in this scenario in this scenario your colleagues if you go with the second argument true shuffling is true then colleagues a same as like a repartition it will go with the two stages shuffle right shuffle read will be there shuffle right shuffle read will be there both are same in this scenario both are same in this scenario but colleagues won't work for increasing at data frame level because rdd only for understanding a spark architecture rdd only understanding spark architecture and it is not available for increasing in data frame level so fast few years like from 2016 17 we are using only data frame we never uh, use rdd for data processing mainly any data warehousing project in databricks or any semi structured data unstructured data structured data data frame only will be using that so data frame is better than rdd you will get a, a scale optimizer a lot of transformations and functions you can use so that's why data frame we will use the rdd just to understand spark core spark core so colis is available at rdd level data frame level but you cannot increase at data frame level you can in increase and decrease with a true option at the rdd level but uh, if you use a true option then it will go with a shuffle right shuffle read when you go with the decreasing you see this so decreasing shuffle is true decreasing shuffle is true so now you see this whenever you go with the colleagues second argument then shuffle right shuffle is there now that is not a narrow that will become a wide transformation shuffle right shuffle read will be there shuffle right shuffle read will be there so this is about what is narrow transformation what is y transformation then you can go and you can go and understand spark core this is about spark core understanding spark core i have a given one end to end example that is called word count program word count program so i have done one video word count program go through that video i have given all the transformations and actions with on top of rdd so this video will give you more about spark architecture how to create rdd narrow transformation y transformation that video will get more clarity on different kinds of transformations and the end to end understanding so go through these two videos you will get clear picture on what is exactly spark core what is exactly rdd but spark core rdd primarily we are using our understanding just the spark architecture we won't use in a real time because we are going to use a data frame in a real time projects 
So because a scale module is there, data frame will give you more flexibility for data warehousing projects to process semi-structured structured data, even unstructured data. So the data frame will give you flexibility for structured, semi-structured, unstructured data, plus multiple functions. Mainly data warehousing projects, more requirement will be functions. So that it will help you a lot. SQL optimizer will be there. You can fine tune and you can improve the query performance as well. So that is about Spark Core. If you're not a subscribe, please subscribe my channel. See you in another video.